Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm Forrest from Browers Game Corner, and I'm going to unbox another loot crate. And this is a uh, particularly fun one for me because I'm actually going on a flight in four hours, and I also have class in one hour, but I decided that I was going to negate all of my grown up duties this month, which really we should be getting ready for school and packing for a flight. And said, I got a loot crate, so I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to top it this week. Uh, I'm going to top of this month, I should say, because the last couple months I've been very disappointed with the Loot Crate, actually last month, so I decided to turn this month's Loot Crate unboxing into a drinking game, so every time I am disappointed with something in this box, I'm going to take a big old swig of beer, and every time that I actually find something useful that I can take on the plane with me, because uh, I'm about to go on a flight, I'm going to take a swig of this, a big old swig of that, and hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for some useful stuff, because I'd love to get a nice little buzz going on right now. So... Let's open it up. I don't know what this month's theme is. The month is October 2015. Let's unbox it and check it out. So, first thing we got in our loot crate. Ooh, I see a t-shirt. I see a t-shirt. All right, so, first thing we got, we got a Back to the Future Dr. Emmett Brown pop figure. Um, this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but... I've only seen the Back to the Futures movies once. I've only seen the first one. So I really, you know, this is a little bit of a disappointment. It looks cool, and I'm going to decorate it. People are like, oh, that's super cool. So it's going to get me some attention, and people are going to be like, man, that's super awesome. And it'll be like, yeah, thanks. But really, deep down, deep down, yeah, a little bit disappointed on that one. Continuing onward. Oh, let's, let's see what the theme is. The theme is time. I like time. Hopefully there's a watch in here. Actually, I think there was a watch a couple months ago that I said I was going to wear forever, and then I never wore it ever. So, continuing onward, what do we have here? This is BBC. This is, a, this is something from Doctor Who, so I will do my obligatory drink because I've never watched Doctor Who ever. <sighs> I might need another beer. Thanks a lot, Loot Crate. All right, let's see what is in this. Oh, it's a spork! Holy moly, this is awesome! Okay, yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, take a close look at that. But it's a spork, so I actually need to retract my drink because I love sporks. This is awesome! Uh, so generally when you... Oh, this is a Doctor Who Sonic Spork. Uh, I'm a big, big supporter of sporks. I mean, I hate when I have to, because I do dishes all the time, so I hate when I have to have a spoon and a fork. So this one, I apologize, Loot Crate. This is actually really cool. So I'm going to actually take back that drink by taking another big drink. So yes. Uh, spork, cool. This, cool, but not really for me. So, so far, I am not too displeased with this month's Loot Crate. Uh, so let's put that right there where you can't see it. Let's see, we got ourselves a little pin. I want to drink more beer, so we'll just say, disappointed in the pin. Is anything cool on the pin? Um, no, it looks like a Y. I don't know if you can see that, but no. So disappointing nonetheless, and Back to the Future Hoverboard. Back to the Future 2 Hoverboard, a 1.5 scale replica. This document certifies blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Okay, this is, uh, that's interesting. Oh, come on, it doesn't come off the base. Okay, it's not supposed to come off the base. I'm pretty sure I just broke it. Uh, so, yeah, I was actually kind of excited about this because I could let, let my son, you know, kind of play with it and whatnot. But once again, just like the Batman figurine from a couple months ago, this is just a knick-knack that you hang up. So, thanks a lot, Luke Craig. Why do I keep backing these? These things are so garbage. Um, so we have one more thing in here. We do have a t-shirt, as I alluded to. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set everything to the side over here. And then I'm going to let's see what the t-shirt is. All right, come on, come on, come on. Be good, be good, be good. It's blue. It's my favorite color. It is, whoa, excellent. Oh, man, it's a Back to the Future t-shirt. Yeah! Woo! Now this is cool. I like this shirt an awful lot, and I think this is the last thing in the box. So let's take a look. Let's take an inventory real quick. T-shirt, 
high, high, high on my list. This is the kind of t-shirt that I would never, ever, ever buy, but now that I have it, it's like, yes! Love this t-shirt. So, big fan of that. Spork. Love Sporks. It's a little bit oversized, but still very cool. My wife is a Doctor Who fan, so I'm sure she'll get a kick out of it. So, two for two on that aspect. The hoverboard, definitely the biggest disappointment this month. I mean, what, what are you supposed to do with this? Like, literally, it, it's... it's I don't know. The only person I could see being excited about this is if you were a movie uh, collector of like the, the stuff from movies. I don't even know. That's dumb. That's stupid, stupid, dumb. Get the heck out of here. Uh, the Back to the Future pop thing. They went a little bit too heavy on the Back to the Future, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but needless to say, this is still kind of cool. I can put that up and it'll look really neat. And you know what? I just realized I am wearing this really nice blue shirt. And this blue kind of shirt kind of watches it. Uh, kind of matches, and I was actually thinking that my undershirt should probably be white or blue. So that means that I think I'm going to change shirts and wear this shirt on the flight, which means it's time for a shot! Thanks, Loot Crate! Ooh, dog hair. Thanks, Bailey. Ooh! <laughs> what am I talking about? That's Malibu. That actually tastes kind of sweet. You know what? So... This month's Loot Crate, it was okay. Nothing better, nothing worse. Um, the inside of the box, I'll take a look at the inside of the box. Normally I like to pause this sort of thing, but in conservation of time, this is going to be the next 40 seconds of just me trying to put together a box so you can actually see how the boxes kind of break apart and put together. So we'll just kind of make it like an informal thing. Um, so I think you put this right here. You this, maybe. You got this guy going on with the thing. Yeah, so it's that, and, hmm, this goes over here, like this, like that, and then you fold these little tuckers up, oh, actually, you gotta go like this, i sure, so we do that, and then we got this going on in here, we fold those guys into this, I feel the need to talk, because you're all watching me with judgmental eyes, even though I'm really kind of just blabbering, and bada boom, we are done, so let's see what it is, and the box itself turns into a, a stage, actually I think we can do it, yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. That's probably not it. Uh, so yeah, it turns into a stage. So I think you can unfold it and even turn it into a dance floor. So it's got the scene from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure where they're at their school um, talent show or dance or whatever the heck it is. So it's kind of a cool box, but I'll still take a drink of beer because I like beer. So this has been my month's unboxing crate for October. I enjoyed it. The hoverboard was stupid, but everything else was pretty serviceable. If you enjoy what I do, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Now I'm going to go back to being an adult.